Okay, this is Larry with Man Cave Mayhem. Today we're working on the Honda Ruckus. Um, I picked this, it's a 2004 Honda Ruckus. I picked it up uh, on a trade from a friend. It has 1,500 original miles on it. And um, there's only one drawback with this. Uh, from 2000, and, I guess 2003 up to 2006, they had an issue with a positive crankcase ventilation not being sufficient enough to get the uh, the fuel the the blow by fuel out of the crankcase which creates a catastrophic main bearing failure on the crank so what i'm going to do today is try and correct that by the chains for or the chain tensioner for the valve train um, and that i ordered it off of a 2007 just to be safe but um, that has the proper ventilator on it that allows more breathing through the crankcase so uh, what we're going to do is I'll show you what I what I ordered and I'll show you the process that I'm going to use to do it to it but I think it'll ventilate the crankcase sufficient enough to uh, keep from having so many problems with the main bearings. I, I actually got the Honda part part number is 06145-GEZ-305. Okay, and that part I don't know if you can see that with the camera it's it's the it's the regular tensioner that goes on there they put a, a piece in there to keep the tension off of the uh, timing chain tensioner and when you uh, insert that you pull that out and that and it, and it won't go back so you have to use a little screwdriver to bring it back and, and then you reload it um, this is the the part that's essential this is what actually gives you the uh, positive crankcase ventilation so that's going to go on top like that with a bolt that was not provided so I, I'm hoping that the original one has something in there that will go there and that's how that sets up then what I did is I went to AutoZone and I picked up a PVC valve for an automobile and some some tubing yes. also uh, I bought some adapters um, so I can adapt the sizes of the, of the hose uh, to fit the bigger size um, I also bought a fuel filter and the reason I bought this is because I'm going to use this as an actual air filter to keep dirt out of the engine. Um, so that will go at the very end of the system to kind of keep dirt from going into the crankcase. So to start the process so to where we can get to the engine we got to remove the seat which is going to involve these two, well actually you can loosen this bottom bolt, take this bolt out, that bolt out and it's the same on the other side here and then uh, this floor pan right here which works which comes all the way down to here there's various bolts here um, these bolts are 12 millimeter bolts uh, so you'll need a 12 millimeter socket and ratchet or I, I, I use an impact just because it's convenient and then for these other bolts it's a 10 millimeter okay so I've taken the bolts off that so the seat as you can see comes right off with the stands now these bolts here are the 10 millimeter bolts right here and those are the ones that need to come off there's also some screws in the floor pan right here so you will need a I forgot to tell you you need like a, a Phillips screwdriver to get these off um, if you want to take this whole floor pan off too that I got to take the battery box cover off too so that's going to involve four screws right here one two and then two on the other side as well so we'll get those on it's kind of when you when you take the battery box off um, it's uh, kind of a pain in the butt because it doesn't it's kind of hard to line up but it it'll come right off okay so as you're taking the battery box cover off it's kind of snug you got to work it out and you got to be careful you don't want to break these tabs off so just be aware of that and that attaches to the floor panel attaches the floor panel to the front half of the battery box or the cowl or whatever you want to call it okay so then there's a metal piece right here if you can see it kind of tucks in front of that floor pan and it drops down so you have to be aware of that when you put it back together you look down here you can see the chain tensioner right here and it's got a bolt in the top of it but there's no ventilation to it so what we're probably going to have to do is move the carburetor out of the way to get to that we're going to see if we can work around it may just have to loosen these brackets up to get them out of the way and we'll get back to you as soon as we get to that okay so we were able to pull this one out um, these are seven millimeter sockets eight. eight i'm sorry eight millimeter sockets and uh this came out this is the t the old tensioner 
and you can see, as you can see there, there's a gasket there. If, you, if you're careful, it should just pop right out. So the new one should go in with no real problems. Uh, the only thing is, is I, I don't know if, we, if this screw will work on that, on the top of this or not. It looks like it may. We're going to give it a shot and see. Okay, so this is the old one. I've taken the screw out, which I'll be using on this one. This is the new one. As I said before, this has a pin in it that preloads it because this is spring loaded. If you don't keep it preloaded, then it won't. So you, once you get this bolted in, then you pull this out to release the tension on this and it'll come down. If for some reason, when you get this, you pull that out and the tension's released, you just need a small enough screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and then you just turn it counterclockwise and it'll pull it back and then you put this back in. So that's just a little keeper. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the gasket out of this, put it here, and then from there, <clears throat> we'll, in, we'll put this inside the motor and pull this out. Okay, so now what we have here is the new pieces in. I put the O-ring on it. Now I'm gonna pull that out and you can hear an audible click and that's the, the new tensioner is now in. I'm gonna, and this is gonna end up going right down here and I'm gonna have to route a hose on that. So what I'll probably do is put the hose on first and, and route it in you know, under this so I can have the hose running out. Okay, so this, this is the bolt that goes, or the, the, the screw that goes into the top of that. Unfortunately, it's too short because of the added uh, height of this. So I found a bolt that will work, and it's a longer one. I chose not to cut it. You can do whatever you want. You can cut it down to size. What I'm gonna do is probably just find the appropriate washer uh, amount and wash it up and tighten that down. That's all it's gotta do is secure that down. Okay, so if you look here, we've got this all hooked up. We've got the hose running out here, PCV valve. It's running up, and then instead of using this filter here, I've chose to use a little bigger filter. I know it looks kind of ridiculous, but I'll be able to see if they're if it's dirty or not. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and tuck that up under here so it's kind of high up out of the way. That's gonna be the finished product. But it works well. I, uh, it's actually breathing a lot better. And so if you have any questions, feel free to comment and subscribe.